Duke against Kansas coming up in the second game of our national semifinals. Now, earlier today, you saw the Tournament Players Championship at Florida. Larry Mize opening up a four-shot lead over John Mahaffey and Bob Murphy, along with Tim Sensen, tied for third right now. Final round action tomorrow starting at 3 o'clock Eastern here on CBS Sports. Be sure to see that. Right now, let's join Brent Musburger. Since the NCAA basketball season began on CBS Sports last November, our commentators have selected two Chevrolet most valuable players at the end of every game as part of the Chevrolet scholarship program. And for each player selected, Chevrolet has donated $1,000 to the general scholarship fund of his school for use by qualified students in their chosen academic fields. In the last 15 years, Chevrolet has donated 2,500 scholarships to assist the youth of America in furthering their educations. Now, this season, we have recognized many players for outstanding game performances, and we've seen some excellent coaching. So today, we're here to present the Chevrolet Player of the Year and Coach of the Year awards as selected by the CBS Sports staff. And to do the honors, we have a great friend of college athletics, Mr. Tom Stout, who is the general marketing manager of Chevrolet. Tom, nice to have you with us. Well, thank you, Brent. And where would you rather be at this time of the year than right here in Dallas to watch the Final Four square off for the NCAA National Championship? This is the place to be. I agree. As a company that constantly strives for excellence, Chevrolet is pleased to honor excellence, both on the playing floor and in the coaching ranks. But considering all those outstanding performances we've seen by individual athletes all season long on CBS, to select just one as the most valuable player had to be a most difficult challenge. Tom, it was very tough, but our NCAA production and on-air talent settled on Walter Berry of St. John's. Berry averaged 23 points a game, pulled down 11 rebounds, led the Redmen to the Big East Tournament Championship, and on into the field of 64 in the NCAA Tournament. Well, Walter, you've had a truly outstanding season. You've played hard for your team and for yourself. And you're only the second player to ever win the Most Valuable Player Award as a junior. And all by itself, that's a great accomplishment. So it's a special privilege for me to be able to present to you the Chevrolet Most Valuable Player Award for 1986. Congratulations, Walter. It's quite an honor to receive this award. I'd like to thank everybody who's associated with this award, and I'd like to thank my coach, my team, my family, and all my friends. And now it's time to present our CBS Coach of the Year. He is Mike Krzyzewski of the Duke Blue Devils. He had an amazing season with the team that he recruited four years ago. It's a ball club that did not play one bad basketball game under Coach K all season long, and now he is just two victories away from a national championship. Well, Coach, what a year. You've won more games than any other team, and I know getting to the Final Four is the fulfillment of a long-standing objective of yours. And for your dedication and your leadership and your motivation, it's a special privilege to present you with this Coach of the Year Award and a check for $2,500 to the Duke University General Scholarship Fund in your honor. Congratulations. Tom, I want to thank Chevrolet for this prestigious award, and I want to thank all the people at Duke who have helped me earn it. Thank you very much. Mike and uh, Walter, let me add my congratulations on a great job this season by both of you. And Tom, certainly thanks to Chevrolet for their continued involvement in the college scholarship program. Well, thank you, Brent. No one will argue that the MVP in women's basketball this year has once again been Cheryl Miller out of USC. Last night in Lexington, Cheryl Miller got her Women of Troy a date in the championship game tomorrow afternoon. Taking on Tennessee, Miller playing with a broken finger still led the way with 17 points. More importantly, watch the way she sets up her teammates. Five USC players in double figures as they went on to beat Tennessee with these 83 to 59. So USC tomorrow will meet Texas, the Lady Longhorns, ranked number one all season long. Keep their perfect record intact. And boy, is there a new star on the horizon. Coloressa Davis right here, 32 points and 18 rebounds. Davis scoring again as Texas was a winner over Western Kentucky, avenging a loss last year to the Lady Hilltoppers, who had knocked the Lady Longhorns out of the tournament one year ago. So the finals tomorrow look like this. USC against Texas, and that'll take place 1 o'clock Eastern time right here on CBS Sports. Cheryl Miller's final game at USC. Can she win a championship for the third time?